Hey guys, uh, welcome to Christian Writers Bookstore YouTube channel and podcast. My name is Michael Furlonger, an author and founder of ChristianWritersBookstore.com. Now, in our uh, last video, I was talking about some doubts that I have as a creative writer and, and as a Christian. And I, I use the example of the Genesis chapter 11, where we have the Tower of Babel and God is opposed to that, versus chapter 12, Genesis chapter 12, where God is um, handpicks a man named Abram. Uh, to become the forefather of the nation of Israel. And God says, I will make you into a great man. I'll make you into a great nation. And so I left the video, left the podcast with this kind of this question of, is God using you to bring glory to his name? Now, so how does this come into the idea of creativity with being an author? It's kind of this idea of are you are you knowingly um, dishonoring to God? I guess that's that's kind of my what I ask. So when I first started writing, I was writing a lot of um, adventure books and uh, fantasy books, and it was very much a kind of a Lord of the Rings uh, style of writing. I ended up with like. Um, Five, five books. I haven't ever published them. They're in my junk drawer and we'll see if they ever see the light of day. But when I was writing them, I was really into um, like Harry Potter and those type of things. And while I could justify Harry Potter as a, a children's story and just say, okay, that's what it is, is that we get into the idea of these, um, these incantations, these, these chants, these magic words and stuff. And and so I put this book away and I thought, no, I don't want to write that. But also on the other side of it, yeah, I was writing a fiction book about a Christian uh, Christian family who had lost their son and they're just trying to kind of get back into it. And I wrote a lot about uh, the, the younger son is has these dreams about heaven and, uh, and God. And they were... Of course, it's a book of fiction, but they weren't at all theologically sound. So the same conviction I had about the the fantasy series I was writing, I had the same conviction about uh, this other book, where it's a Christian book, but it was lacking in in sound uh, sound theology, you know. And it's it's very it's a very dangerous, very hard line between. Um, being say, okay, it's Christian, it must be good, and having complete uh, bankruptcy of sound doctrine versus the other side, which is so magical that that it 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 seems more like the occult. Now, of course, I've mentioned that there are books like uh, Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, which has magic, which has wizards, which has a whole race of people, the elves and the dwarves and all these things. And I would still call that a Christian book. Same with uh, with C.S. Lewis's Narnia series. You got the, you know, the White Witch and, and you got Azan and you got talking gophers and all these types of things, right? And that's still a Christian book. Uh, so tell me what your thoughts are. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. 